Thank you, Dr. Hiba. Uh, well, I, I will start with sharing my memory with ERF. When I first visited Cairo and I met Professor uh, Handusa uh, at the beginning of the establishment of ERF, and I was very impressed by her way of talking, talking about how she perceive or how she sees uh, ERF, how it will uh, play in the, in the region. Uh, what is her expectation about ERF? And she was speak in, uh, in uh, enthusiasm and certainty that ERF is expected to play uh, a very important role in shaping the region economic, social, and political development through a high quality research uh, uh, preparation. This is my first impression. From there, I was, I was just, uh, at that time, I just uh, finished my PhD and uh, I was uh, just, I mean, putting my uh, foot into the research area. But I was at that, that time unsure about the, the, the research, how the research will play a role in shaping the uh, political development and uh, economic development in the region. While we are suffering from, the, the, there is no, res, uh, no, no data available, no research available in the region, how could we work on this? But lately I discovered that the, the, the size of research that published by ERF, the, uh, work paper that produced by, by uh, ERF, how much this helps us as an academic in the, in the region to uh, start our, our research and to, to, uh, to build our uh, research capability in the, in the university. The, the second memory that I want also to share, when I was invited uh, to attend uh, uh, a, a, a workshop on uh, the use of house, uh, household survey in Istanbul, and that was, in, uh, I, I think, in 1998, if I am not wrong. And there I met a lot of, of uh, researchers, uh, high, I mean, uh, very prominent researcher in the, in the area, as well as a lot of young researcher who was uh, struggling to learn a lot about the way of doing research and how, how this uh, will uh, upgrade their or build their capacity. And I was very amazed by the, the way of the workshop, how it, it, it was handled and how it was delivered. And this also contributed a lot to my development in the term of research as well as of, of my teaching. So this is the, the, the memory that I, I, I share. Uh, of course, ERF has succeeded to, to, to be uh, a, a, a very important think tank in the region, uh, providing high quality research, uh, contributing to the capacity building, and dis disseminating research in uh, many uh, topics and uh, a lot of, of uh, issues that is related to the, to the region. Uh, how I see our, what is required or how we expect uh, ERF to do in the future, I think expansion of the ERF, especially in the, in the GCC area. We really in the GCC area, we need ERF to, to support, to, prov to provide support to the young generation of ERC. I always face a problem when I, I receive a call from some of the policy maker in the country that, well, we need a high qualified uh, economic, economist to do research in this area and this area. And of course, there are lack of uh, uh, good uh, economic researcher in the GCC country, as uh, uh, Dr. Youssef mentioned, we are, we are, we are suffering. Our university is, is not preparing our uh, students to be 
high qualified uh, economic researcher. So here, where we need the support of ERF to provide support in this area and trying to contribute to capacity building of our young generation.